We have a confirmed case of the B117 COVID-19 variant in Manitoba. This is also known as the UK variant. It's good and bad news Tuesday. The province goes ahead with their loosening of restrictions set to begin this Friday. But also with that, they announced the arrival of a dangerous COVID-19 strain into the province. We've detected many, many variants in, in Manitoba over time. Just uh, none of them really had any clinical significance up until uh, now. Manitoba's top doctor says a Manitoban traveled internationally and was tested for COVID-19 on January 21st. Due to the international travel, the sample was sent to a national lab. And at 9 p.m. Monday night, Dr. Rusin received word that it was the B117 strain. This is not unexpected. We see this variant in uh, uh, in our country and internationally, and we've set up our protocols for just this type of scenario to identify it, to ensure that people that, that are high risk of it are appropriately isolated, to decrease the likelihood of that tra transmission in the community. The carrier has five household contacts, all forced to follow safety protocols. All of their contacts will have to self-isolate 14 days after the last potential exposure, which in most cases would be 10 days after symptom onset. So um, household contacts um, uh, could have to uh, self-isolate for up to 24 days. Dr. Rusin says there is certainly a possibility there are more people with the strain in Manitoba. We're now the eighth province to see a significant strain arrive. Meanwhile, the loosening of restrictions proposed last week will be put into place beginning this Friday. As we do this, uh, we remind each other that we're all in this together. And so I say a special thank you to Manitobans for giving us the opportunity today to uh, reduce some of these necessary restrictions in a cautious way. A breakdown of the new restrictions. Restaurants can reopen to dine in at 25% capacity with groups from the same household only with a closing time of 10 p.m. Fitness facilities can reopen at quarter capacity. Outdoor rinks can reopen for casual sports, organized practices, and games. Places of worship can allow whatever is lower between 25% capacity and 50 patrons. We have to be cautious. The cavalry's not here yet. Uh, and uh, we are the cavalry. We are the people who can protect one another. And we've been doing it well, so stay at it. These new orders are going to allow us to resume many of the activities and services that we uh, enjoy. Uh, we certainly can't let our guard down. In Winnipeg, Mike Albanese, City News.